hi guys and uh, welcome back to the channel i do hope that you guys can see me because what i'm seeing on the other side is a dark view um but hopefully you guys can see me but anyways um yes i'm from texas <laughs> but my sister she is a whole marathon runner and she recently went to california and did a marathon up there so she brought uh, me and mom um ashton my son a t-shirt back from california so we wanted to just represent you know cali and stuff like that hopefully on her next trip i will muster up and go and also get on a plane it'll be like my first time getting on a plane but anyways you guys welcome back to the channel if you are new to the channel hi hello welcome in come on in to my texas home um here i'm more minimal um and we're just simple over here so anyways um i'm a mom of a 10 year old i'm a girlfriend of a wonderful boyfriend <laughs> and i am um a full-time worker you guys so um i do things from decorating my house for the holidays cleaning shopping your ordinary motherhood type of stuff i do <laughs> um and also bay night date night all that stuff will be coming soon so um and then also i love doing like cooking with me type of videos as well i do want to let you guys know and i think I, in every video i've been telling you guys that i will be changing my name for next year i just think that since i'm become this whole minimal person and i've loved and grabbed a hold and hug my minimal journey um and accepted it um i'm going to be changing my name to something a little simple a little minimal you know it's your girl Andrea. but anyways let's get into the haul today i have a daiso um haul today if you guys haven't heard it's a store it's out i think it's out of china or korea um and um, they finally hit the USA and so we have one far out in Plano that or Cal um, I was in California um, <laughs> for far out in Carrollton um, back that way so we didn't have one in Dallas and now we have one like about 10 minutes from my house and I was able to go and film a little bit of footage of me inside the store and I will link the video just showing you how the store layout is and how everything they have a nice range of items from house to makeup to cleaning products to craft um, and I honestly love it now you may think I'm a little crazy but I feel like it's the next best thing to team you if you want to go to team you um, instead of ordering stuff online go to Daiso because Daiso has pretty much all the same stuff only thing is team you is a little cheaper but if you have a Daiso in your neighborhood um, definitely check it out and so um, upon going to Daiso we got this free bag if we spent $30 in there um, and that is the name of the store Daiso um, and we got a little bag here just a little shopper's bag and then we got and this stuff was free so um, a little <laughs> a little kangaroo I had the option of choosing the fox or the kangaroo and I got the kangaroo in his baby because I have a 10 year old son and it just kind of remind me of him um and then I also got some um free items for Ashton which are um you know the little blocks robot builder blocks that I got for him that I forgot to even give to him um and we have like a lot of these <laughs> um and then they did also include some chopsticks for ramen um or a pole so we got that and then what was so cool about that is that they put a little um cap thing in there for your ramen sticks so um you can keep them um inside of the little uh ramen thing and the sticks won't be going everywhere when you're trying to eat and then 
yeah this is my deodorant that, that shouldn't have been in there <laughs> but yeah we got this little reusable bag um and so um i was grateful to get that because i spent honestly they said that free tote was like thirty dollars if you spent thirty dollars and up I spent like $50. <laughs> I wasn't even trying to go over that much, but I didn't know how their um how they their money is like in like China or I'm not sure if it's China or Asia where Daiso is really located. But I think that it's run by China um, employees and stuff like that. And so I didn't ask any questions. I just went in. They make like they make you feel right at home in the store, <laughs> and they were like quick to answer questions. And I wasn't sure how you would pay for the items or how much anything was at first until I asked an employee, and she was super sweet, super sweet. And she told me upon uh, buying stuff, she had already knew that this was like if you look at the numbers, and I think in the video I showed you and I told you that if you buy a certain thing it costs like four dollars or five dollars and if it's below a certain amount or below a certain number you get it for like 47 cents or 90 some cents um but anyways let's get into the basket so i did purchase these baskets too as well from daiso um and i thought i had the receipt yeah i do have a receipt so yeah um this daiso is located if you guys are ever in Texas, Dallas, um, and if you're staying in Dallas, definitely visit Daiso. It is at Mockingbird 6333 East Mockingbird Lane. Um, and it's in like the McComas suit or something like that. Um, and it's right next door to a therapy place. And next door to the therapy place is a Tom Thumb. So <clears throat> if you find it, you find it if you don't find it make sure you look it up um online and get directions to go to this one but um like i said i think i spent like yeah at 55 44 so whenever you buy stuff from uh daiso you cannot return it back because they would not um they would not take it back so anyways so let's go into what i bought i bought these nice soft gray um colored baskets they are very much spacious you can use this for the kids you can use this like i'm going to use this for like um man babes clothes to wash and stuff in and so we just throw through in a week we just throw what we need in it and then i'll wash whatever's in them um but yeah they're very spacious um and i love that they have like the air hose in them as well these were um these are they were number 500 so i hope you guys can see it they were number 500 so on 500 they will be six dollars and 25 cents so i i picked up two of these um and then also we're just gonna go we're not gonna have anything like in order i got the strawberry uh, hello panda strawberries i love 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 these these are so good I got two of these for three dollars and fifty cents of the, the panda strawberry uh, cookies, and they're so freaking good. Um, if you've never seen what they look like, they're just like these little these little filled cookies, and you just break them open. Well, you eat them, of course, but they're like cookies, and they have like strawberry cream in them, and they're really really good now these right here have been out for a little bit so i'm probably gonna have to go ahead and trash them because i didn't have them closed and i didn't put it in my little tub thing that i normally have them in so i know that they are probably still and this haul has been sitting for about a week or so um ready for me to uh basically show share and show you guys um what i got from daiso now i did grab these little squeezy bottles which i'm trying to find the price for these um these are called decorating mayonnaise tubs i got three of these and they came out five at 525 um five dollars and 25 cents for these and they're just like little squeeze tubs now even though these are mayonnaise squeeze tubs i'm going to use these for my bathroom and i'm going to put uh my 
my shampoo, my conditioner, and my body soap in one. <clears throat> and then I also want to go back and get another one for like my um, my detox and my detoxifying um, scrub body shower stuff. So that's what these are for, and that's what I'm going to use them for. Um, that. Also grab one of these. Um, what are they called? They're like little measuring uh, scoops, and these were only a dollar seventy-five. Um, and I just got these. These are basically the scoops that go inside, like little um, mason jars, um, especially like something like this. If you don't want to like kind of pour it out, you can just scoop it out with one of these. Um, but I honestly got these for my. Uh, hold on just a second. I'm going to show you. I got it for my um, scent booster beads here. I'm going to take that top out and put this one, the big one, in it. And then um, use that for that. For when I'm washing and stuff like that. I did grab. And I also was a little upset because I didn't know how much any of this stuff cost until about the end. And I didn't realize that one of these scrubber things was like $4, I think. Um, but let me see. Uh, or... Hold on, y'all. I think that was like four dollars. Yes, it was like four dollars. And so, um, I bought one pack of kitchen sponges. Well, they're all kitchen sponges. Um, and these were really remind me of TMU because I always bought all my sponges from TMU. Like, I don't know if you guys, um, let's see. Another one that I always buy from TV too is my favorite, but it reminds me so much of the IKEA brand sponges. They're like my favorite. Um, and then you can also grab them at a, a smaller price on TV instead of buying them at IKEA because it's really hard to get to IKEA um, because it's so far away. But anyways, you guys. I bought these and I'm going to be using them really soon and then I bought two packs of these ones and they remind me so much of the Ikea ones and but they are way bigger so you can get a lot of uses out of them and since I'm starting like my whole like I'm not starting but I'm entering in my whole minimal phase I wanted something black and white to come in the kitchen because um that's just kind of what I want. You know what I mean? Um, also, I got this on uh, going into Daiso. So, if you're in Texas, Dallas, they have a Daiso in MacArthur Park, MacArthur Park, or MacArthur Park, Irving, Texas, Carrollton Town, Sitter, Tech, uh, Texas, which I went to. And they have Spring Creek Crossing in Plano, Texas. Um, and I'm sure they're going to add the Dallas one pretty soon. But if you want to discover Daiso, there is the, the little code thing, the little snap code thing that you will snap just to figure out um, all about Daiso and how it is. You'll snap it with your phone if you have one of those type of phones. I also got... Two of these little containers here. Um, one's gonna be for my parfait, and the other one's just for whatever. Um, and so, let me show you. I'm honestly thinking like these were 350, because I remember these were 350. Um, but I bought these little containers here. They have like the little top thing going on there. So they're great for like little parfaits and stuff. And I just thought they were really, really cute just to have around. You can also like DIY them, craft them, um, use them on your desk for like paper clips or staples. 
however you want to use them but we put like uh hot peppers in them and i'm gonna put well i use the hot peppers for this one and then i'm going to use um i'm gonna use this for my parfaits in the morning time um i'm one of the people that since i've come into um my whole minimal journey it's been a huge blessing for me because i'm one of those ones in the refrigerator i don't want a lot of stuff i even tell my boyfriend but we just battle out about it all the time um and i just kind of want my refrigerated spacious and when it's time for us to go grocery shopping i don't have to have so much to even try like declutter or throw away i just can try to move things look at the day trash them is what it is i don't like like this is what me and my boyfriend <laughs> uh jugs of milk when i i pretty much if you buy like a half a gallon two of those it's just so it's more space to me in the fridge and it makes sense to have two of those than a big thing of milk in there um that big old jug of milk it just to me it just takes up so much space and so um he just doesn't get it babe i'm sorry you don't get it <laughs> and he's probably gonna say i really don't but um i just feel like having half a gallon in there will be much more spacious to me and minimal than having a big thing of milk in there and taking up space that I can use it for um, something. Okay, so I did grab <laughs> some pins, you guys. Oops. I grabbed some pins and they were like a dollar, a dollar seventy-five for these pins. And one of the pin sets was yeah, they were $1.75, I believe. So they were $1.75, even for these ones. These are just regular um, pens. Um, these are the Inspiration Series, Lights Inspiration Series. This is in the colors of Sweet Almond, Mount Mint, and Majestic Sunset. So this is, this is, um, you guys, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> that was my little, um, I was listening to the music and I guess uh, since I stopped listening to the music it just powered off by itself but anyways there's my little house speaker that is my music you know um but sweet almond would be this one this color here um mal mint this one and the majestic sunset would be this one right here and I thought they were really really cute um, and they have so much like uh, I'm gonna use these in my planner my 2024 planner and then I got some extra pens here um, I got two of I call them the caramel pens and then I got two of the because I love uh, Alabama uh, crimson um, road tie I got two of the crimson colored pens here so these are the pens and they write honestly amazing so if you go to Daiso you definitely will find some great 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 items I'm gonna just leave them right there because I'm gonna use them later I also got <laughs> uh, something for Christmas for my son but I know he's not gonna wait so really quick because my baby's about to die out I got this for my son for Christmas like I say I know he's not gonna wear it so I'll probably wear it to work or something but I thought it was really cute it's like little bear ears with the um, little reindeer ears coming with it this was only a dollar 75 as well really quick, really quick, really quick, really quick. I got some of these little business card holders they were four dollars a piece and I thought that these was really really neat um, I'm gonna start like my little five dollar challenge if you guys want to you know join in with me I will make a video on how I'm gonna be doing that and I'm gonna share what it looks like and stuff like that um, and then I also am gonna do like maybe a twenty dollar challenge as well um, and just try to fill up these and not touch them <laughs> and um use them for things for next year or if i can do this i honestly think i can't do that for christmas i think the five dollar challenge i can do it if i can do it every week every day every week i can do the five dollar challenge um i counted it and i think it's like 
$55 or maybe even $60 is in here that you can do $5 challenge. Um, but yeah, and this was really disappointing <laughs> when I put my hand on it. I shouldn't have put my hand on it because I don't even know what was wrong with me. I thought it was a recyclable bag. It really is, but look how little it is, you guys. It's for a baby. Like, I mean, what am I going to do with it? Like, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I really don't. What do you... What can I do with this mini bag? But anyways, this is a dollar seventy-five as well. This little baby bag, mini bag. We'll figure out what we're gonna do with that. <laughs> um, and then I got some makeup products. I got some of the sweet sugar uh, lip scrub, peaches and cream. This was two dollars. And then I got some of. You are